Hey everybody, Joy here. It is March 3, 2022, but the video you're getting ready to watch was actually made last week. I am going to teach some of you new long armors, new quilters, how to learn to do stippling. Stippling can be used so many times in so many places when you're quilting your quilt tops. It's a wonderful thing to learn, and there's more than one way to do it. You don't have to do it just the way I show in this video. Once you learn how to do it like I show in this video, you can add loops, you can add hearts, you can add whatever you want to add. <laughs> okay, so maybe I'll show that on another day. I've had a lot of requests to show you how I decide to quilt a quilt top. So, for those of you who want an answer to that question, here it is regarding stippling. Do you all know how to stipple? You want me to show you how to stipple? It's real easy. You have to determine what size stipple you're going to use. Before you do anything, before you buy your long arm, buy a whiteboard. I used my whiteboard a thousand million hours. It is so, so helpful. And then when you get something on it that you like, you can take a picture of it with your camera and keep it. So here's the thing. Let me show you how to stipple. All you're doing is quilting a line. And you're changing directions of the line all the time. So let's say this is our line. And we just keep changing directions. Okay? So that's what we want to quilt. But we want to make it a stipple. That's not a stipple. That's just a bunch of squares. Almost, although, you could quilt that in the quilt, too. If you want to, you know, it's a man quilt and you don't want any curves. Although men like curves, don't they? <laughs> Go back over the same line. Let's get a different color. Now, there's different kinds of stippling. Stipple. Stipple. S-T-I-P-P-L-E. Stipple. It's wonderful for backgrounds. Okay, so we want to stipple this area, and we want to use a curvy line. It looks like little puzzle pieces. So all you do is you're still doing the same line, but instead of doing it straight, just do it wiggly. See? See here? Same thing, but wiggly. See what I mean? Does that make sense to you? So now, if the blue wasn't there, you can see how that would be a stipple for a background. It took me a while to learn how to do this. Now, let me tell you something else about stipple. Stipple is like handwriting. And 200 people could come up here and do what I just did with the same exact blue path. Say everybody had the same blue path, but everybody was gonna do their stipple on it. Every single one would look different because everybody has different handwriting, okay? So this is my kind of handwriting. <laughs> Get a whiteboard, my friends. Oh, so wonderful. And you know what's wonderful about a whiteboard? It is, you can erase. Oh, yes. <laughs> You can erase. Now see, I could have just taken a picture with my camera of that and then erase the whole board and start over. Oh, what are those squares up there for, Joy? All right, here's the thing. Play like this is the kitty quilt. And these are the walls behind the kitty quilt. Every one of the six blocks has different books in it. Okay, they all have books. Say so this one has books like this, looks like towns. Say so this one has books like this and then one over here like this. See? So this block has all of this ceiling, or not ceiling. This block has all this wall behind it. Now this one, the books, this is just the ceiling part. I quit calling it a ceiling. This here, play like the block really is much, much bigger, and the books all come up to there, okay? 
So we'll play like the books all come up to there on that block. Here's another block. So we'll play like the books don't take up as much room because maybe we have a kitty here. Okay? So hopefully that makes sense to you. Some of them have a tiny bit of wall showing. Some of them have a big bit of wall showing. So I went over there yesterday and I started out on a tiny wall. And I thought, oh, I'll just stipple that. And so I always start out with a friction pen. Friction pen, don't use one of these. Oh, you will cry, you will cry. Ask me how I know I've done it. Have y'all seen my owl quilt? I picked up an Expo pen instead of a friction pen. So, I went here and I started on this wall. And I thought, oh, I'll just do this little stipple here, right? Because this is a little wall. So you just draw a line and you keep on making it wiggly, okay? And so I did this stipple here. All right? So then, this is the little wall. And I thought, oh, that's going to look really good. That's great. So next I had a big wall. So when I went to the big wall, I wanted my stipple to be bigger like this, see? I didn't want it to be little tiny. I wanted it to be bigger. So my issue was this is all the same wall. It's all the same wall behind the bookcase. Do I want some of the walls to have little tiny stipple and some of the walls to have great big stipple or do I want all the walls to have the same stipple? Well, in my way of thinking, it's the same wall, it should have the same stippling all over. So even though this one is very tiny, it needs to have the same size stipple as the big wall. So, I erased all this. I had this all written in with my friction pen. I went over there and I ironed it and it all went away. So now, even though this is a little wall, I will come back in and I will do big stipple like that. Does that make sense? So the stipple on the little wall and the stipple on the big wall will be the same size and the stipple on this wall will be the same size. See? Just making a straight line but I'm doing it wiggly. My gosh, we all wiggle anyway, don't we? <laughs> so that's the status, Gladys. And the thing about it is, when you're doing this, say, ooh, I don't like that. That's not pretty, and I don't like that. That's just dropping down in there weird. Get your iron, iron it away, <laughs> and start over. Or at least start over on the part that you don't like. See, just, oh, because your lines have to connect, right? So let me see, what didn't I like about that? I want this to come up like this, and maybe this to go in like this. Yeah, see? That's still kind of, I don't like these dangly things. They remind me of something, and I don't like the look of them. <laughs> so I try not to do the dangles. Anyhow, you get the idea. Same size stippling. And if you still don't like it, erase the whole thing with your iron. See, I don't just go over there and turn on my long arm and start sewing. I never do. Now, I can turn it on and start sewing all of the um, ditch, the ditching, stitch in the ditch, because I'll be stitching around every book and every title, and that's just stitch in the ditch. But this kind of stuff, I use my friction pen. So let's say we're going to start here this time. Nope, see, I still don't like that. Keep going. Going down between the buildings is a trick when you need it to be little. There, well, see, there I've got a dangly bit again. Let's go all the way up to here and around there. And see what I mean? All right, let's say we're drawing a straight line. There we go. Make this come up like that. There we go. So now we've got two beginnings and two ends. So that can't work. So we're going to begin over here again. And I do this on 
the quilt. Oh, I make so many marks. Oh my goodness. Here's the book. Remember that book is there. Yeah, there we go. Oh yes, now I can do it. See? I don't like that shape. When you sew it, it will be so much smoother. I don't like that shape. This is what I do on the quilt, y'all. I agonize over it. I'm like, oh my goodness, I don't like that. There. That's not quite so dressed. See, see how close together this is right here? This is a big stipple. So I don't want that that close together. I want that far apart. There you go. It's still not very far apart. I do this. How do you quilt your quilts? Slowly and carefully and with hot tea and a cookie. <laughs> so see now I'll start my sewing machine here and I'll sew all like this. See there? Look at that. And yes, I would with my sewing machine, I would think, oh look, I can come up in there a little more. See? And so even when I'm sewing it, I'm probably still making changes. Mm. That is cool. Now see, this would only be one stitching line. But this and this and this all need to be the same size stipple because it's all the same wall. See? And so this one here, I might change it a little bit too when I quilted it. Come down, around and out like that. I just question everything I do. <laughs> I just do. I think, oh my goodness, I could do that better than that. And this one's pretty good, really. Yeah. There you go. Do this on your whiteboard. And your brain will be able to do it much better. Hmm? Let's finish this one over here. Let's see where we can go on this one.